Well, there you go. I've learnt something. I had no idea that wolves liked sprinklers. I thought they would run away from them going, Meow, I don't like the sprinkler. Don't tread in you... Honestly, animals. Greetings, everybody. We're going to the zoo. Ooh, a new zoo for the new year. It's the Nevada State Eco Zoo. Nestled within a rocky valley and atop a small mesa, Emma Goodwin's first zoo is also intended to be a world's first. A zoo with as much diversity in its flora as its fauna and with peerless environmental credentials. Without a doubt, the Nevada State Eco Zoo is a big swing for the fences. And guess who's up at bat? <laughs> the fences that things are going to jump over and kill you. I think we better put this in easy mode. Again. As long as we get rid of that Dominic Myers pillock. I nearly called him something really rude there, but you have to declare that when you monetize videos. Ooh, very nice. Nice cooling tunnel. I like it. Looks like we're heading into a rather beautiful desert. I like these trees and... Ago, oh, I no. I always have a place in my company, and that's still true. Unfortunately for you, that place is in the zoo's outbox because you're fired. Yes! It's not all bad, though. As part of your severance package, you get to keep your uniform. Don't worry, I'll take the cost out of your final pay packet. Thanks, Dominic. Thanks oh, a lot. Uh, oh, it's boy. Again. I was so happy to hear the news about Dominic firing you. You and me both. Oh, sorry. Well, oh, that came across terribly. Not really. I simply mean that the timing of your dismissal is extremely serendipitous. You see, remember that something that I mentioned before? Mm. <laughs> well, I'm excited to say it has finally come to fruition. <laughs> As a result, I find myself in need of a zoo manager. And while yeah. I can do it myself, I'll have bigger fish to fry. <gasps> Are you opening a fish and chip shop ever? You see, I plan on constructing a chain of zoos as rivals to those of Mr. Mars. Oh, I thought it was going to be a fish and chip zoos shop. Zoos where both the welfare of the animals and our planet is of paramount importance. Could have managed that the much better than a zoo. To drive Mr. Myers out of business. Okay, I am totally on with that goal. He's exploiting. Good, yep. But such a task is not simple. Nope. I will need someone like yourself who is qualified to handle the building of the zoo. Definitely not. While I concentrate on the overarching business. You see, Emma, so, I... So, are you ready to make a difference? I can't even cope with groups. You know, the automatic groups it creates? I can't even cope with that. I definitely can't build a zoo. <laughs> However, I'm not going to get a choice, am I? Looks like it's going to be very hot. Oh, we've got some, got some water. This should be a much more pleasant experience for you than your recent ones. I doubt it. And it should be more exciting too. Just not in a, will I eventually be arrested for being a part of this way as it was with Mr. Myers. I'll probably eventually be arrested not anyway. Not won't be challenging. I mean, I want this zoo to become a paragon of eco-friendliness. Do you? You might say, we want to have a small carbon paw print. <laughs> oh, come on. No? No. Nothing? No. Fine. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. A paragon of eco-friendliness. You see, to me that just means putting loads of bins. So, let's see whether I can save the day with bins. I need to adopt and place four different habitat species. Adopt and place two new timber wolves. Timber wolves? What, here? Really? Increase conservation rating to one star. Wow. Even I might be able to manage that. Reach 10% plant diversity across at least three habitats. Now you see, that's my kind of thing. Plants is my kind of thing. This is my kind of thing, because you can just chuck them in. Oh, I can definitely do that. I mean, it looks pretty diverse to start with. So what have we got then? We've got a, like a big... We've got like a really big area here that looks like it would make quite a nice natural habitat or two. We've got some water. Do wolves like water? Yeah, all of this kind of points towards just shoving animals in a pit. So that is what I might do. I'm just going to shove some animals in a pit. Don't write him. This is how it always goes. So let's get some path in. Ooh. What I would like is a... That's it. That's it. I just want a, a straight path to start with. And then what I'm thinking is that I will probably at some point put something in the water. So if I have the path going around there and make a habitat around here and you will see it, it'll be great. We all know that what I need first is some sort of power. 
And the water's going to need treating as well, isn't it? So. Got big. Oh, actually, I already have a transformer in that area. Oh, that's good. That means that I can put in things like Mustafi bits. Quickly. So, if I get a staff path, like a really narrow one, and I sneak it off at the side here, like so. Now, I should be able to put some staffy things here. I know that the public doesn't really like staffy things. I don't care. Live with it. So, um, keeper hut, we'll leave that. Let's get a staff room in. I'll leave the keeper hut for when I've actually got some things for them to keep. Right, where's the door? There it is. That's good. If I hide a staff room here, that would probably be a start. There we go. Editing group 10. I didn't create group 10. I don't know what group 10 is. Anyway, look, I can have a little sort of staff city going on here. If I put my research in and my workshop in, and I could actually, I mean, all of these are quite small, aren't they? There we go. How about that? And then vet and keeper hut. I could put somewhere else. So I need to... Uh, I need um, uh, quarantine as well, don't I? God, man, that quarantine's expensive. But it just happens to fit here, I think. Maybe. Ooh, oh, it thinks it doesn't. But it does. Right, so that's all of my staffy things. All inefficient. <laughs> but what I need is some staff. So, let's get a caretaker. And let's get a keeper. And let's get a mechanic. And let's get some security. Security! And let's get a vet. And they can all go off to the staff room. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is put in... I might be a bit sneaky here. Instead of putting... Um, uh, what do you call it in? Um, like habitats in. I think what I might do is put some exhibits in straight away. So that you immediately come and see some exhibits. Because... People like those, in my experience. So if I put in a thin person path, maybe a little bit wider than that. If I put in a, like a curvy person path here. Oh, hang on. No, hang on. That's not what I want. I want it, I want it that wide, but I want it to go around if you know what I mean I want it to go around that doesn't seem right ah there we go that's it right if I make this is almost a bit a bit sim city-esque if I make a loop of exhibits like that that will immediately give people something to look at and also give me some space that I can sell stuff in speaking of selling so let's get an ATM in so there's no excuse and a donation box in there and then what I'll put in is an information centre there and I'll put in uh, what do I want a merchandise shop these are horrible actually aren't they these, yeah actually these are really horrible I think I'd rather spend the money for the for rather nicer looking ones, in truth. Let me just, uh, let's get rid of that. I like the nicer looking ones. So there's an info shop. And then next to it, I will have a food shop. And a drink shop. And... I'm immediately low on cash. That's not surprising. And some bins. There we go. And if I put some benches along here, you can sit and you can eat your food and you can have your drink. And it will all be good. Right, so I'm low on cash already. That is not a good start. So where is cash? I'm going to take out a big loan against my better judgment. And then I'm going to put in some exhibits, just so they've got something to look at. So, exhibit medium, exhibit large, exhibit small. Exhibit small, that sounds good. I like the double path thing going on there. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Unintentionally cool. And yet, yeah, kind of works. Now, what can I put in my exhibit? 
This is exhibit one. Yes, it is. Animal market. Right, we are not having spiders. I'll tell you that for nothing. No spiders. No, no, none of that. We've got scorpions. We've got... Ooh, no. Puff adder. Is that like Puff Daddy? Got some beetles. I wonder how many beetles you can have. I'll just let the beetles run wild and reproduce. Stop showing me the spiders. I do not want... No. I'll just get some beetles in. Right, let's get... These are cheap. Cheap cheetles. Longevity, 25%. Wait, what? No. No, 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 no. Oh, a fro how about frogs? Oh, let's get some cheap frogs in. Yeah, that's a, that's a better idea. Right, send to zoo. Pop it in there. I wonder how many you can have. Because its social health is 100%. So I don't know whether I really... Do I want more than one? Are they going to get... Are they going to get mad? I'll put in a female one as well. I could always sell some frogs. The entire zoo funded on selling frogs. Now that sounds like a plan. Let's turn the temperature down a bit and turn the humidity up a lot. And hopefully that will be a good start. <clears throat> As if. There we go. Right, this should be happy now. And what I will need is my vets to research the frogs so they can have some logs or something. Right. Got some very angry people. Oh no, I've got no people. Oh, at least, well, no people can't be angry then, can they? That's good. Uh, okay, so that's something to look at, at least. Are you, are you looking at it? Who are you? Oh, it's the vet. She's gone off to conduct some research. That's good. Now, a habitat is next. So, we've got loads of room down here. Oh god, I hope you can't hear my stomach rumbling. That is actually genuinely my stomach rumbling. Uh, what could I put in a small habitat that would not cause complete chaos? Timber wolves. How much space do timber wolves take? And also, can they climb fences? Bet they can. I bet they can. Right, If you see, the thing is, if I can put it here, if I can put the timber wolves here, I, I appreciate they might not be, like, super happy about it, but it's near the keeper... Uh, or it's going to be near the keeper, and also it's near the people. How much room do they need? Do they like hills? Plant? They wanted plants, didn't they? Diversity of plants? Well, let's pop them in here by the path and see whether it works. And if it doesn't, I've just spent a lot of money. Right, there we go. That, I think, is a habitat. Except it isn't, because it looks like they can get out of it. <laughs> what? Did I just get that wrong? I did just get that wrong. That's why. Okay, get rid of this. Try this again. Connect it up, Scotty. No, did that connect up? No, it didn't look like it. This is very long. Um, what are we doing here? Is that connected? Have you connected now? I think it's connected now. I think it's connected now. But that's not right. <laughs> that's very not right to me. I, like, should I not be able to bring it up? Yeah, yeah, should I not be able to bring it up like this? Like, well up so that they don't, don't jump out. As hilarious as that would be. Because it would be. Even I would pay to see that. Right, I don't know whether wolves can jump fences or not, but I think we're about to find out. Right, if I now put a habitat gate in, down here, that's it, yeah, like round here for the, for the keeper. Right, there's a gate for the keeper, and then I need a big guest gate for the guests to have a look. And I could even put more than one in, because we've got a thing up here as well, there we go. Right, what are you whinging at? Oh, vet research is complete. Oh, nice. That means that my frogs can have some logs. Or however that works. There we go. Logs for frogs. Nice. 
That's all good. Excellent. What I'm hoping is to breed loads of frogs so that I can sell them for enormous amounts of money. But what I now need now is, an, is to go and get some timber wolves. Timber wolf, yes. Right, let's get a female timber wolf and also a male timber wolf. And then what we can do is send them to the zoo, the zoo, the zoo. Do, 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 do. Send to the zoo. I don't think they're going to like it very much. <laughs> In truth, I don't think they're going to be massively thrilled by this area. But we'll find out how much they hate it when they get in there. So in the meantime, I would like to put some more vending machines in because mm, there is nothing like a good vending machine. And I would also like some more donation-y box things. Oh, have I got any toilets? God, I don't think I've got any toilets. <gasps> That's not good. We're definitely going to need toilets because otherwise you know what people are like. Might as well just lock them in a cage. Okay, so we have problems. I have completed something, but they're not going to live very long if I don't do something about it. So, terrain overview, we have an alert on the wolf. View animal management, no that's not what I want. I get so confused with all of this. Right, there, there there's a wolf. Right, it's running away. <laughs> oh god, it's diseased. What, already? How can it be diseased already? <sighs> right, anyway, we've got moderate problems. Namely, that the animal is too hot, which is exactly what I thought it probably would be. So let's cool it off. I mean, it's going to have to be really cool, surely. There we go. I'll do some cooling. Oh, it's already gone down the hill. It's already gone down the hill. But yeah, let's get it cooled off because otherwise... <laughs> That's going to die, isn't it? I mean, Timberwolf surely don't like being in the desert. I don't really understand why why I've been asked to do that. It also needs some shelter and it's going to need some research, obviously. So it does not like cacti. In fact, it doesn't like the plants in here generally, so we'll get rid of all of those as well, which I'm sure will make it happier. Then terrain-wise, it needs less sand and more soil. So, I'm going to soil it up over here. And all around here. And then I'm also going to put in some short grass for it. Whoa! Actually, the grass down here would be kind of good, like give it a field. Now it's got too much. Brilliant. Give it some more rock, maybe? Do you want some rock? Rough rock around here? Oh, oh, yeah. How does that work for you? That's better. Right, are you happy now? I think it might be happy now, or at least a bit happier. It needs shelter, of course it does, and that's okay. Beds and shelters. I mean, if I'm gonna have loads of wolves, I need a big shelter. Because that's my intention, I think. Loads of wolves. Awesome. And then it also is gonna need some food. Food bowl large sounds like a plan. As does water bowl. There we go. Okay, right. Hopefully, hopefully, that will be okay. It's going to need some more plants, I'm sure. And that was also one of my thingies to do. So I'm going to guess it needs tundra. Caribou moss. That sounds like a kind of cool thing to just dump everywhere. <laughs> just have a very mossy area around here. Some uh, big rocky mossy bits. I hope you're appreciating the rocky mossy bits, wolf, because otherwise this is a waste of money. That looks a bit more kind of um, wolfy to me. <laughs> I've lost them now, of course. Where have you gone? Gone to play football on your new football pitch. Or have you gone to jump over the wall? Because I've just noticed, actually, God, this is bad, isn't it? <gasps> this is bad. Edit's barrier. This needs to be taller, please. Because otherwise we could end up in some serious trouble. Right, I'm going to 
hope that they can't get out. Because <laughs> if they can get out, it's going to be amazing. I'm sure there was a way of making the barrier follow the, the hills. But for some reason... Well, I don't know whether two metres is enough, but I'll find out the moment they break out, won't I? So... Right, I've got nine very happy people. Oh, four very happy people in my area and I still have some money and I've got a guy running around. Why are you, is it waiting for a vet surgery? Oh, of course, I haven't I haven't completed my staff city, have I? Oh, God, silly me. Nothing's ever going to get fed if I don't put in a keeper hut for a start. Just running around like a lunatic. Right, there we go. There's a keeper hut. And the last big thing is a vet surgery. There we go. Can we all calm down now, please? Anyway, people are coming to look at the frogs and I am, unsurprisingly, low on cash. Meanwhile, I've got a, dis a diseased animal that is incubating tularemia. Well, awesome. Also, it looks like there's some animal rights protesters here, but they can just wait. They can just wait. Okay, let's go back to vet research. I'm gonna need another vet. Vet. What I would like you to do is research my active disease. I'm wondering whether I need to research the frogs anymore, really, because it's the wolves, isn't it? The wolves need help now. Oh man, do the wolves need help. So I need to get this sagebrush out of here. Oh, I'll get money back for that. Oh, could I get a load of money by clearing stuff? <gasps> hey, that would be helpful. I get cash for getting rid of things that are already here. How much do I get for a tree? <laughs> that would be good. Anyway, the wolves seem to be okay. Look, they're running around going, I bet I can get over that wall. But they need enriching, so I do need to do some research into them for sure. Anyway, look, it's brought people in. They're not very happy, though. Oh, toilets. We have a toilet issue. Guest facilities, you better hope toilets are cheap. Oh no, they're not. I can't even afford a toilet. I mean, I haven't really started with much money at all, have I? But then, <laughs> in truth, I'm not very good at planning anything or indeed doing anything so from that perspective if I can just get a toilet in large toilet oh no that's wow, that's a big toilet that's a lot of toilet right there as it happens it fits so that's a wonky toilet as well but I'll just move my benches there's no social distancing in this one place I promise you that there we go just move my benches a bit Right, are we happy now there's a toilet? Oh, I think they are. That's good. What they need is some education. So, could I perhaps put some education stuff around? So, entrance, education. Yeah, like a board, just a board that says this is a wolf. What else did you think it was? Would that work? I've never been very good at the education things. Oh, fr frog? No, wait, what? No, they're wolves. If we clearly we need education if you think that those things are frogs. Because they're not, are they? But anyway, now that I've got a frog board, I can put it over here. Frog board. There we go, that's a good start. I don't understand why I only had the option of frogs. Has nobody realised that there are wolves? <laughs> Because there are, and it took me a lot of effort. Meanwhile, who's dropping litter? In my areas. Sake. Zoos would be really good if there weren't any guests in them. There we go. Oh, is that the animal rights protesters? They can get lost, unless they're paying. Leaving zoo. They're done protesting, eh? 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 eh. Go me. That's good. So, Velma Brinkley cannot find an accessible research area. Oh dear. Can you only research one thing at a time? Or is... Yeah. 
Is that because I haven't worked that bit out yet? I don't know. But if we, what we could do... Actually, I don't really know what I'm doing. The vet research thing is a bit weird. Let's stop researching the frogs and we'll research the wolves instead because they need it more. And I really need some guests in. Maybe I'll carry on with my exhibito area. This is just such a beautiful thing for people to look down into, isn't it? Which is why I'm going to cover it up with exhibits. Eh. Right, facilities. Small animal exhibits. God, they're expensive, aren't they? Here is the continuation of the exhibito area. Does not contain spiders. Should we have a snake this time? What's cheap? What's cheap? Puff adder. Beetles. Don't want spiders. Spiders are cheap, you see. I don't want that, though. Giant desert scorpion. Sounds like my kind of thing. Oh, have you seen its longevity? It's next to nothing. Can I have more than one? Can I breed scorpions as well? Because that would be glorious. I need a male one. Male scorpion. I don't think I've ever bred scorpions before, but there's a first time for everything. There we go. Let's hope they don't eat each other. Actually, if they do, that would probably ex like attract some people in, wouldn't it? Um, these always start at the wrong temperature for some reason. And scorpions like it a bit more humid than that as well. There we go. Lovely. I can't wait to see the giant desert hairy scorpion exhibit. Well, let's hope you can tell it apart from a wolf. Okay, right. Information board. If I want to put an information board here, is it going to let it? Is it going to let it be about scorpions? Yes, it is. So now you too can learn about scorpions. It's a very deserty thing as well, isn't it? It, it fits quite well. That that's good. Also, do you want to give me some money while you're looking at the scorpions? Because I'm not being funny, but I really, really, really need it. Give me your cash. I've just noticed something, actually, putting in my own information boards. This comes with information boards. I didn't need to buy one, did I? Look, frog. Well, there we go. Get some money back on here. Sorry, are you reading that? <laughs> Sorry about that. This is good. This is like a deserty, cactusy information area. I like it. So, so do all these people, I'm pleased to say. This is good. Oh, they're going... Ah! Okay, that's awesome, because it is. Would you like to sit in the sort of deserty area? I bet you would. But you'd like to have a really overpriced drink. What I need you to do is have a really overpriced drink. Please. High amounts of litter's not good, is it? But what is good is my timber wolf research is complete. And you know what that means? Happy wolves! So... How do I enrich the wolves? Enrichment items, yes. So, what do wolves like? Nothing, because they can't spell them properly. Timberwolves. Timberwolves like sprinklers. Do they? Timberwolves like sprinklers? Well, who'd have thought? Do they like really, really cold water? Who'd have thought? I had no idea that Timberwolves liked sprinklers, and if I could get, ever get it to come up on the ground. Do they like cold showers, then? Hey, that's cool. Well, it will be cool, be bloody freezing. Why do wolves like sprinklers? That's intriguing. Do you, do you like your sprinkler? Are you happy? <gasps> ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it, and I don't really know why. Why would a wolf like a, like a cold sprinkler? Bloody loves it. I thought it might just chew it up. No, it, it likes it. And now it's going to have a drink. Well, there you go. I've learnt something. I had no idea that wolves liked sprinklers. I thought they would run away from them going, I don't like the sprinkler. Don't tread in your... 
Honestly, animals, don't tread in your water. Also, I'm very sorry about wolf backside there. I'm very sorry about that. Anyway, if the wolf likes it, look, 21% enriched. Well, have some children so I can sell them and everything will be good. Fantastic. Also fantastic. People crowding around the vending machine. I like that. What I don't like is I haven't got any money. And this is a problem, like a big problem. Because if I haven't got any money, there ain't going to be no zoo. And I've already taken out pretty much all of the loans. I feel like I've spent an enormous amount of money and I don't know how. I don't know how. Do I need some low impact marketing to get people in? If I turn off renew so I can't accidentally spend any more money. Will that get people in? I mean, I really haven't got many people in at all. Mostly because my zoo is crap, but... I am really concerned. Oh, of course, I'll just put the back on research that she can't do. Sorry about that. I am really concerned. Like, what am I supposed to do about the money? Do I just need to get people in? Or was I supposed to create all of the habitats first? Or have I screwed up on paths and things? Can I get some, can I get some money back? This isn't good, because if I go broke... Oh, I've just got that wrong. If I go really broke, then I can't do anything, can I? Hmm. Is there a way of easily just mowing down all these trees so I get money for them? Because every time I do that, I get $20. $10. $30. I mean, quite against plant diversity, I appear to be taking them out instead. But seriously, I have no cash, so what am I supposed to do? <gasps> the wolf is about to mate. You know, she goes on about, like, conservation and everything. Is, is all of this because she actually just wants to make money, make money out of mating things? <laughs> is that the way to, to do this level, I wonder? No, seriously, I am really worried because how am I supposed to get cash? Because I seem to have already spent all my money. And nobody's buying drinks. As lovely as this is, because it is lovely. Can I put the prices of this sort of stuff up? Because I am losing money hand over fist here. This is not good. Right, finances. Ongoing expenses. Income. Ticket sales. Can I put my... Dare I put my tickets up a bit? can't even remember how to. That's bad, isn't it? And shop income. That's all lovely money. Donations. I can't even afford any more donation boxes, so... God, I've only got 29 people now. Do people, you know, turn up at some point? I know that I'm low on cash. I don't know that there's anything I can do about it. Anyway, look, I've done some wolf research, except I won't be able to actually afford the things for them. This is really, really bad. I have got a serious money issue. Like a, a sort of starting again kind of money issue. <gasps> My frogs are... Wait, wait though. Wait one little minute. Why are there severe social welfare issues? Oh, because the group size is too large. Does that mean I can start selling stuff? Animals. I've got too many frogs. Captive birth, captive... Oh, wait, hang on a minute. How many bloody frogs have I got? Whoa, this is a lot of frogs. What if I want to sell both of my frogs? Release to wild. Do I get money for it? No, I get conservation points for it. Well, I don't want that, do I? I want money. I want money for my frogs. I want to sell my frogs. Maybe I can't sell my frogs. This could be a bit of a problem. Animal trading. No, that's buying things. I don't want to buy things. Animal storage. What if I store the frogs? Can I sell them then? I can't believe the frogs have gone mad and are... Uh, <laughs> that's not good. Right, they're in the trade... Move them to the trade centre, which will immediately make the frogs happier. And then animal trading. Stored animals. Have they just not turned up yet? It'll take a little while. Well, the frogs went mad and I didn't know. What I need, though, is the wolves to go mad, because I reckon I'll be able to sell those. 
Oh, look, they've got food now as well. It's all going very well for the wolves, I have to say. It's not going very well for my bank balance because I've still only got 25 people here. Even with marketing. Got a few groups of people showing up, but I need many, 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 many more people. And I can't even afford a donation box. This is really bad, though. Like, seriously, this is bad because I don't really know what to do about it. Please give me your money. Please give me your money. Like, I'm in a position now where if you don't give me your money, I am in serious trouble. In fact, if I took a loan out now, I would only just cover my my immediate debt. Oh, this is not good. I think I've stuffed up and I don't really know why. I'm just not getting any people in. I've got wolves and everything. I've got wolves, I've got scorpions. What more do you want? <sighs> this is not good. This is not good at all. Right, let's go to zoo, like, finances. Can I put the ticket? The thing is, I, I reckon they're going to be hacked off if I put the ticket prices up, but I'm going to try anyway. Timberwolf is about to have offspring. Oh man, do we get to see it being born? Because I don't think I really want to see that, to be honest, but... Help me! I'm having a baby! Ooh, I'm having a baby! Is it going to come out? Actually, I don't want to see it come out from this angle, thanks. <laughs> offspring imminent. That's very exciting, but... <laughs> Has he gone under a bush to have a wolf? No, I'm serious though, is it just going to appear? Because that would be amazing, that would be even... That would almost make up for being in serious debt. Come on, wolf, get on with it. <laughs> I can't believe I've got no guests to see the wolf having its offspring. Can we hurry it up a bit? This is a really long birth. Have the baby, damn it. Have the baby. Oh, oh, we're all getting in on the act now. <laughs> well, it wasn't very imminent, was it? I'm getting loads of debt now because of you. Just have the thing. Oh, it has had the thing. <gasps> oh, look, he's had a baby wolf. Hello. Oh, well, that's lovely. If that doesn't get people in. I mean, I thought animals having babies got people in. Does it not? Maybe it doesn't. It's running around very, very quickly there. Very quickly. Oh, well, I hope you all appreciate the... Look at it. Look at how cute it is. And it's going to bite you. Why do we always have to see the back end? Why? Oh, look at it. Oh, it's lovely. Shut up. Ooh, I'm so cute. But I will bite you. Good. Well, that's good. And now, but there's only three people. There's no people in my zoo. There are no people in my zoo. And they're really annoyed. Is it a ticket price thing? Oh, man. Okay, this is really not good, is it? Is it because I'm charging the children too much? Oh, everybody's just hacked off. And my zoo is about to go into her Well, it is in horrific debt, and this is not good. Oh, God. I think putting the ticket prices up really, really screwed that up. Look, they're all coming back now. Oh, how stupid, honestly. It's really cheap to get in. Like, really, really, really cheap. God, started piling in. Piling! Maybe the ticket price was too much to start with and they weren't coming in because of that. Suddenly I've got 56 people in and they're all really ecstatic and quite hungry. The problem being I can't afford to put any more food things in. 66 people, 72 people. Wow. Who'd have thought it? But no, seriously, I've completely messed this up and I don't actually know what to do about that. I like I don't know how I would make any more money. So what I need is some help. Because this is very broke and I think I'm gonna have to go have another go at it. Meanwhile the frogs are going mad again. <laughs> Let's get rid of the ones I've already got, don't I? Um animal storage. I thought that I 
put them in the... Am I going silly? Oh, of course it's exhibit. It's exhibit trading, isn't it? Quick trade. Yes. Money. I confirm that I want money. Yes, I do. How many blinking frogs am I going to have to sell? <laughs> to get so much, to get that amount of money. Can it be done? Will the scorpions breed? Out of interest, how much do you get for a young wolf? It's just a thought. It's just a th I'm not advocating this, but it is a thought. Well, selling frog has got me pretty much nothing. Also, nobody's, still nobody's coming in, so that's not good, is it? And yet everybody seems ludicrously happy and very slightly educated. God, I desperately, desperately need cash. I desperately need people piling in to see the baby wolf. Otherwise I will sell the baby wolf. There's nothing more I can do here, unfortunately, from a financial point of view, other than chop down all my trees. And I have not got 18 grand's worth of trees. I've really screwed up here. But I don't know how I could have done it any cheaper. I mean, I've got the absolute minimum, haven't I? Unless you need donation boxes literally in everywhere in the known universe. Oh, tickets are overpriced. Really? Are they? Okay, let me put the ticket price. What if I put the ticket prices right down and see if I can get like 10 million people in? Maybe I've just been charging too much all this time. And what if I move this so that it's... Well, I don't know, because like there's... It's like a bit like, what if I put it here instead so that when you're looking at the frogs, you might give me money? Oh, wow, I'm in so much dirt. It's ridiculous. Can I charge for the toilets? That's a serious question. But no, a serious question, though. How... Like, I've only got one information centre... One food shop, one drink thing, a load of toilets, two exhibits and a tim timberwolf area and all the facilities that I need. And I'm grossly, grossly, grossly in debt. I definitely need some help on how not to be in debt. Because in truth, I don't really know what to... D Have you seen how many scorpions I've suddenly got? Hang on just a little minute here. I've got billions of scorpions. Do they breed more than once? Because if they do, like, I'm just going to sell them all. Send to Trade Centre. Yes, definitely. Animal storage. Quick trade. $2,000? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Just have a scorpion farming area. Oh, my guests are going down again, though. Look. Seriously, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to avoid this amount of debt because I can't do anything, and it's not going to get any better. Meanwhile, the scorpions are fully researched, which happened very quickly. So. Uh, Let's res research the frogs. It isn't screaming at me at the moment about, you know, you are about to go completely broke. But I am. Hmm. I don't know whether there's any point in carrying on with this because I seem to have really stuffed up. And I'm researching all the things and like the frogs are going to be really happy and I could end up with a lot of frogs. In fact, I appear to have one more frog. <clears throat> Send to trade centre. But, like, I can't just breed scorpions and frogs all the time. Because they're not worth enough money. So, what what do I do? <laughs> I don't know what to do. If somebody can help me in the comments, I would be very happy. Because at the moment, I'm just selling frogs, which I'm pretty certain is not a good idea, also, and also isn't working anyway. 
What should I have put in? What do people want to see? Because they seem to love this. But I literally can't do anything else with the zoo. Because of my mega debts. Will an inspector arriving make any difference? Oh, I've got a visiting player. It's UK. Can you give me about $30,000? That would be great. Look at them. They're piling in. Piling. Give me your cash. Oh, that's gone up a lot, I have to say. But everybody's using this window, weirdly. I'm not quite sure why. Move this back. Just shove it right in their faces, like there. You can't even see the scorpions. Actually, that's next to the other one, isn't it? That probably wasn't the best idea. How am I going to get people? By blocking their path. Hmm. It's very puzzling, and I don't really know what to do. What I might do... Oh, again, it's not going to make any difference, is it? Let's move this donation box, because nobody's over here. It isn't going to make a blind bit of difference. I was going to say I'll get rid of the path, but it'll, that'll get me about 20p back. So... Put donation box by the toilets. If you have used the toilet, please give me a donation. <laughs> Just get rid of this, maybe. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm really sorry, people. <laughs> there were people on that path. I'm very... I'm very sorry, they're probably trapped now. Do, 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 do. Smallest feet on the zoo in the universe. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to do. That is the truth of it. So what I need is help. I need some help because this is the smallest zoo ever. And uh, it's made approximately no dollars. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> the research continues in earnest. It's just a shame that I can't really... Well, I can't do anything about it because... Uh, I'm having no luck with the money. Hmm. I'm just puzzled now. Is there anything else I could do? Because I can't, I don't want to take out another loan. I can't take out another loan. I'll tell you what, I haven't got much left to pay on these, have I? Is that what you have to do? Just take out huge loans? Do, 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 do. I mean, even if I could afford another wildlife habitat, that would be a start. Do, 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 do. Another bit of research complete. Well, at least my vets aren't slacking off, are they? Look, I'm an expert in frogs as well now. Do, 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 do. Like, right, look, I can actually take out enough of a loan to be in less trouble, but not enough loans to actually do anything. Hmm. <laughs> oh, got more visiting people. Bat monster and yep bit of a nope though isn't it more than anything they see even my even this is not making money what if i put it over here instead so that i get them as soon as they turn up although they're probably getting their drinks from the drinks place i mean the queues as well are huge at the information center and chief beef and gulpy I mean, these are huge queues. Huge queues. Maybe my toilet is too big. <laughs> Should have guessed. <gasps> but nobody, nobody is giving money for the toilets. Perhaps that's not hugely surprising. Put it back over here. Oh no, because I've already got one there, haven't I? Where else could I get them? The thing is, nobody seems to want to see my wolves, which I don't really understand. Ooh, oh, oh. Did that just say something's died? Oh, look how many blinking scorpions I've got! So many scorpions! This is amazing! And more frogs. The problem with the frogs now, though... Oh no, I'm still okay. I'm still okay. 
Right, send all of them to the trade centre. Exhibit trading. Select all of them. How much do I get for this? Two and a half thousand again. It's not enough. Hmm, well, nobody wants to see my wolves, even though they are being very cute. And I don't really understand why that is, but obviously I'm getting something really wrong here. Where is the timber wolf? It's, it's here. <laughs> so why aren't they coming over here? I'm really confused. I've obviously done something very wrong here, and I don't really understand what it is, because you'd think that people would be queuing up to see the wolves, and maybe that's my problem, that people are not coming to see the wolves when they should be. Because is that not a, a guest gate? I would expect them to be coming along here. I've obviously done something wrong. I think the guests only think that the scorpions and the frogs and things exist. Is this staff path? It looks... no, it looks right. Right, that's my problem, isn't it? That people don't realise that the wolves are there. So, what am I doing wrong? Guest gate allows guests to see things, surely. I need some help, audience, because people are not looking at my timber wolves, and I think that's the problem. So if anybody knows, if you're already if you're still here, and you know what to do about it, please let me know. Because the wolves are very happy, I think. I think I've got some happy wolves, it's just that I can't afford to do anything because nobody's paying money to see them. Hmm, that's really weird. Okay, I have an issue. Please help me with my issue and hopefully we can rescue this zoo. That would be awesome. I'll see you in the next episode, hopefully.